President Trump delaying the release of the Democrats' FISA rebuttal memo, requesting it be revised due, of course, to national security concerns. GOP Congressman John Ratcliffe has seen the Democrats' memo, along with all of its underlying sources, including the FISA applications. He joins us now to weigh in. Congressman, thanks for being here. So is it, was, it a, was it a smart move based on national security for this White House to say, let's be careful about this Democratic memo and make sure it doesn't violate any national security concerns? It was. Uh, the White House is just following the advice of the Department of Justice and the FBI. When the president sent back the letter to the House uh, Intelligence Committee saying uh, that there need to be uh, redactions for sources and methods, national security concerns and law enforcement concerns, those were coming from the Department of Justice and the FBI who identified dozens of those concerns. So, Congressman, you've seen not only the Democratic memo, but also the underlying source documents for the FISA applications that are at issue here. Uh, are, when, when this memo is released, redacted or otherwise, will it contradict what the Republicans, Devin Nunes, put out in their memo? It won't. Uh, in fact, it'll confirm the most important points. To understand um, what's in the Democratic uh, response memo, you have to understand what's not in it. And what's not in it is a representation that the FISA court was ever told that Hillary Clinton paid for the dossier that was used to spy on a Trump campaign associate. They weren't told that Christopher Steele was desperate and passionate um, about preventing Donald Trump from becoming president. And the FISA court also wasn't told that that same Christopher Steele had a personal relationship with the number four lawyer at the Department of Justice, Bruce Orr, and his wife, Nellie Orr, who did the research for the dossier at Fusion GPS. Those are all facts that should have been disclosed to the FISA court and never were. So the Democratic memo hmm. can't contend that. Instead, what it does say is that, well, the court was told about politically motivated actors, and, and they were uh, in a, in directed footnote. to footnotes, uh, footnotes that had very convoluted explanations about funding sources. And the Democrats argue that the court should have been able to put this puzzle together. But that really um, uh, reflects that they don't understand what the obligation is uh, for an officer of the court before sure. a FISA proceeding, uh, an ex parte proceeding, which is for full disclosure. The court's not supposed to have to figure it out. They are to be expressly told uh, before you try and take away someone's uh, civil liberties. So the hypocrisy of the left, every time they're exposed, there's a new explanation. The new explanation now is that Christopher Steele is a rogue agent. He was just doing his own thing with no direction from anyone else. Uh, Based on what you've seen, was there collusion and coordination with Democrats and, and uh, Christopher Steele, or was he going rogue? Well, we know that the FBI and the Department of Justice uh, ultimately did terminate the relationship uh, with Christopher Steele because he wouldn't follow the rules and the guidelines with respect um, to providing them with information. We've, of course, subsequently learned that there are Democrats that have tried to coordinate uh, with Christopher Steele. Um, and so, you know, I don't know the details of uh, the Democratic efforts to get in touch with him, um, but we do know that uh, Christopher Steele was not a reliable uh, source, and as a result, he provided an unverified dossier uh, that the court relied upon to issue a warrant um, to spy on an American citizen. We know that spying occurred, Congressman, briefly. We only have a, a, about 15 seconds. Is this the beginning of this scandal, or are we at the end? Where are we on the timeline of, of the exposure of this? You know, unfortunately, Chris, much more, uh, or uh, Pete, uh, uh, unfortunately, much more to come. Hmm. Um, I've had the chance to see all of the underlying documents. Um, when the Inspector General report comes out, it's going to uh, identify some more um, anomalies and things that have happened at the Department of Justice and the FBI that unfortunately are going to make this story continue for some time. That's an important reminder. The Inspector General's report still due out from the Department of Justice. A lot of what we've learned so far has come from that as well. Uh, Representative John Ratcliffe, thank you for your time. Appreciate it.